Kahala no Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai Bahasham Kadash, double honors to the elders and the apostle of GMS, and salutations to the brothers who's pushing the shoot out in the corners, and the highways and byways, and all praise to Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai Bahasham Kadash. Rakhatam, the brothers Yahshua Mari, you are not listening on the name of Yahweh Shai, you know, the Lord's son's name. Right. I'm going to um, prove through this lesson here that um, Yahweh is the name of the Creator's Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus. Right? You see God here on the um, screen, Yahweh Shai or Yeshaya. Right? Uh, basically, what we would find in the scriptures, you know, everything is to be searched deep, you know, because these words here be transliterated and translated. You know, throughout the, um, throughout history, and we found that the root language and the root words, you know, of understanding can be only found in the Hebrew, especially for the names, you know, and and those of you who know the um the scriptures, you would come to find not only Yahweh Shai. Who the world ignorantly called Jesus, right? The Messiah or Christ, you know, only had that name, right? A matter of fact, after the book of Deuteronomy, is the book of Joshua, right? And that's an um, English format. One of the English format is pronounced Yahweh Shai in, in English, you know. And when we finally go down into the Greek, Latin, Greek, Latin. Right, they, they they pronounce it as Jesus or Jesus, you know. But it goes back to what Joshua back into the Hebrew as in Yahweh Shai. And we're gonna prove this through scripture because the confusion is, is a lot of people think uh, that the pronunciation, you know, the trans the um, characteristics of the Hebrew alphabet, it is pronounced as Yeshaya. And we're going to show that, and I'm going to show that this is off, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yashai. Right? Now, first precept I wanted to get is the book of Matthew. Verse 21. It says, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Say the God is Yahushai. Thou shalt call his name Yahushai. <laughs> For he, this is the meaning of his name, right? For he shall save his people from their sins, right? So you see, when we check up Yahushai, it means he is salvation or he is the deliverer. You know, right? Here we have here in another. This is Acts, the book of Acts, chapter 7. And verse 25. So I could be mistaken verse. It's gonna be verse. I'm gonna read from verse to one. Right? It says here. When Moses saw it, he wondered at the sight. And as he drew near to behold it, the voice of the Lord came unto him. Right? This is talking about the born in bush. Verse to two. It says, saying. I am the God of thy fathers, the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Then Moses trembled, and, and durst not behold. Then, then, said, then said the Lord to him, Put off the shoe from, from thy feet, for this place where thou standest is holy ground. 
I have been, I have seen, I I have seen the affliction of my people, which is in Egypt, and I have heard their groaning, and uh, and I'm come down to deliver them. You see, so through the spirit and power we are about to you say, we understand that this is Yahweh Shai that was that born in bush, because. Yahweh did say he come in the volume of the book, right? Yahweh did manifest himself, you know, because well, in the scripture says in the beginning he was with Yahweh, with God, you know, in the book of John, the first chapter, right? So Yahweh was a burning bush, you see, right? It says, here, and I have heard the groaning, and I am come to deliver them, right? So even all, all this time, Yahweh wasn't delivered to, to the house of Israel. And says, and now come I, now come, and now come, I will send thee into Egypt, right? This Moses who they re refused, saying, who made thee a ruler, right? And a judge, the same thing God sent to be a ruler and a deliverer by the hand of the angel which appeared to him in the in the bush you see this angel which in his word the word angel go back to what the word messenger right which is um i believe is maya call right which means angel the messenger right the Hebrew word verse 36 he brought them out after he had shewed wonder and signs in the land of egypt and in the red sea and in the wilderness right and in the wilderness 40 years see so yahweh shai even said back then he come to deliver right and this is the angel that well yahweh had sent in, in to manifest him in a burning bush you know right so basically you just pull out that account to show to show um that Yahweh Shai he is the deliverer even from even from before in, in the time right he came he came by spirit but this time he came in the flesh due to the first covenant and this one being the second you know Yahweh Shai was all the time the deliverer and no matter of fact I'm gonna read them because this is bit get interesting <laughs> right verse 39 it says to whom our father would not obey but trust him from them and in their hearts turn back again into Egypt because what well, it was worshipping idols, right? Israel was already is, you know, even still is, right? Naha is a stiff necked people, like the scripture said. Right? Verse 40 it says, saying unto Aaron, make us gods to be make us God to go before us. For as for this Moses, which brought us out of the land of Egypt, we would not what he become of him because what well, Moses the thought Moses was dead right going on then then God turned and gave them up to worship the host of heaven and it is written in the book of the prophets O ye house of Israel have ye offered to me slain beasts and sacrifices by space of forty years in the wilderness Right, verse 33, Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the stars of your God, Remphon, Remphon, figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. Right? It says, hey, verse 44, Our fathers had the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness and he had appointed speak and he had appointed speaking unto moses that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen right because the moses was, was given unto moses was vision you know right. going on this is the point right that's going back into this name right 
note what it says talking about it says which also our father that came after brought in with you see it says hey jesus brought in with yahweh into the possession possession of the gentiles whom god drove out before the face of our fathers unto the day of on, unto the days of david now you see now this here right is not talking this jesus in verse 4 5 is not talking about the lord and savior the messiah this is actually talking about joshua you see right check this see after the books the five books of moses genesis exodus leviticus numbers deuteronomy then they got joshua right See, it's like you. Yes, Deuteronomy for the four, 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 seven. <clears throat> right? Let's go back into a little history to, to prove a point. It says here, And Moses was an hundred and twenty years old. When he died, his eyes was not dim, nor his na natural force abated. Right? See, he, Moses was healthy. You know? Right? And it says, And the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab thirty days. So the days so the days of weeping and mourning for Moses were ended. Verse 9. And Joshua, right? We check it up as the witches Yahweh Shai. Right? Let's get this. You know. Verse 9, let's get um, the word Joshua, right? You see it say here in the Hebrew, the Hebrew is written from right to left. The stroke there, the small dot, Ya, the one with the curve, Ha, the one, the one with the stroke, you know, the stroke down there, the third one from your right, Ha, the W, Slakio. The one at the end is Ya, the second Ha, the third Wa, the fourth one Sha, that looks like a W, yeah. and the one Ah, Yahweh Shai. See? It's the same thing goes, there's a different term, um, you know, lettering or uh, wording of it. You know, but these these dumb people, well, they they go after the um the Yiddish and the Assyrian. You know, they going off with, with the modern pronunciation. They pronounce it as Yeshu, Yehushua, or Yehushua, but it's Yahweh Shai. See, right? That's also so that what is Joshua, right? Which goes back in the Greek, you call today as Jesus. You know the pronunciation, right? Verse nine of Deuteronomy thirty-four, verse nine. It says, "And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands upon him, and the children, right, and the children of Israel hearkened unto him, and did so." And did as the Lord commanded Moses. Right? And it says, And there rose not a prophet since 
since in Israel like unto Moses whom the Lord knew face to face right <laughs> now going back to the book of Acts you know see it says here Acts out of for the yeah region for far five it says which also our father that came after after brought in with joshua right with the guy jesus which is yahushai you know talking about joshua the prophet not the messiah see into the possession of the gentile whom god drove out before the face of our fathers unto the day of david see this is talking about this is talking about uh, joshua right no we're showing you that you know yeah we're showing you that i just want to get um want to get the pronunciation of isaiah now because this is really confusion is you know it's the book of isaiah chapter 1 and verse 1 it says the vision of isaiah the son of amos right amos right let's get what isaiah is right you see and it was ya shy ya ha ya ha ya shire right see they got it again with the they started pronunciation yeshaya 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 right but the hebrew alphabet don't have any e u right e u you know uh another one o you know g you don't have these letters you know, so there's a there's 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 um this is show that you know is um is mispronounced. Foundation language. Right, you see the word Isaiah means Yahweh has saved. Right, so you see the difference between this is the this the this is the confusion here that people get, you know, that with Yahshai and Yahweh because like Yahweh Shai name, you know, that is part of prophesied in Matthew's in the book of Matthew's chapter one and verse twenty one, it says here, you know, for he shall save his people from their sin right so the mistake that they get in is between here that says jehovah right have saved which is which is there's not the creator name yahweh is the creator name yahweh have saved right they get in that one off and also and also with you know joshua that says let me get it that says Yahweh is salvation. You see, you know, we get one of the uh, prophecies that that was given from the Mosai. You know, No, cause I'm 
be with me for a sec. I'm not sure that Yahweh personally anointed Yahweh Shai, you know, which in his all his prophet was starting with Yahweh Shai. Like having a difficult time remembering this piece of you know you know who through, through the spirit i get it you know but i just want to break it bring it out right because it shows the prophecy how did say um you know my name shall be found in his name right and it's prophecy Yeah, kind of, kind of, um, yeah, basically the precept that I was looking for is John chapter 5 on verse, yeah, verse 43, it says, I am come, I am come in my father's name. And ye receive me not. You see, Yahweh Shai did come in his father's name. Right? It was Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Not Yeshaya. Right? Yahweh. Yahweh Shai. See? I am come in my father's name. And ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name. Him ye will receive. So Yahweh Shai said it best. You see? So it's just the certain secret things we had to look in for, um, you know, to, you know, pray through the spirit that the most I give us this wisdom and understanding, right? Because anybody says, some people, for those who say that, you know, that all the names, you know, there's more than one name given to Yahweh Shai, that's a lie, right? This Acts chapter 4 and verse 12, it says, neither is there salvation in any other in any other for there is none other name right on the heaven given among men whereby we must be saved right and this name is Tahan Bahu Yahweh Shai you know verse read verse 10 it says be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Yahweh Shai Mashiach the anointed one right of Nazareth whom ye crucified, right? You no, know, this is talking about Yahweh Shai, right? Not not Joshua, right? That came after Moses, but Yahweh Shai, he, you know, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, right? Even by him, do the name stand, we, 
here before you whole. Verse 11, this is the stone which was set at naught of the build of, of, of you builders, which is becomes a head and head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So you see the name is Yahweh Shai. You know. Hope this lesson was a defined you know who this lesson was a defined right so you so ponder upon the name Yahweh Shai you know Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai you know which is the name at the top in the yellow you know I said okay for, for you know the condition of the video but this is uncut you know just went through through the spirit that to America, that to Babylon, that to all two third and these wicked nation, you know. Until next time, inshallah.